Hello and welcome to your weekly horoscopes at work here from ReadTheStars.com. I'm Judy Vitale, your astrologer. Let's look at our week. Well, in general, we're just getting used to having the sun in Aquarius. It is going to be a relief because with the sun in Capricorn, we were setting off that thing in the sky we keep talking about all the time with uh, Uranus where Pluto and Mars is in there and Mars is kind of moving out of there. I think that this week will be somewhat less tense and I'm saying go out there and get them. Go on and, you know, really try to do the business of getting your work done. Um, we're going to start off Monday with a Virgo moon that's always perfect for that because you're really paying attention to detail and also people tend to behave in the way that you expect them to. People have more of an attitude of how they can be of help or how they can be of service rather than how much they can get over on you. So that's always a plus. Moving on into Tuesday, we have the Libra Moon. People will be very agreeable. If you have anything that you want to ask for, it's a very good time to do it. It's also a good time to tell somebody when you can't offer them something because you're able to say it in a way that's diplomatic and you won't hurt anyone's feelings and maybe in the future you can do business. Wednesday, a little more difficult. The Moon gets a little further on into Libra, makes an opposition to Uranus, a square to Pluto, and a conjunction to Mars. Does that sound good to you? Even if you don't know anything about astrology, it doesn't sound good. And if you do, you certainly know that it's going to bring tension and power plays and a little bit of impulsive behavior that's going to make it difficult to do business on Wednesday. So make that the day that you kind of uh, uh, spend extra time doing your exercises, whatever that might be. Get some physical expression of your energy out there and you'll feel a lot better. On Thursday, we have the void, of course, moon for most of the day, at least here on the East Coast, until 4.43 p.m. Eastern Time. So um, we will uh, have the experience of not being able to finish what we wanted to finish unless you're just doing stuff that, you know, cleaning out your desk, going to the bottom of your inbox, that sort of thing. Meetings and... Um, initiative activities, things that are like, things that require you to take the first move or make the first move are not going to go so well on Thursday. Moon slips into Scorpio on Thursday night and spends the day there on Friday. That's kind of nice, you know, people will be intense, but um, a little quieter, settled again, that energy of getting the work done is going to be very prominent on Friday. We'll also have Mercury trine Mars, so what you say is what you do, and what you do is what you say. So be very sincere about what you're planning to do, and um, look out for a little bit of underhanded activity, however, because people might be tempted with the Scorpio moon. On Saturday, the moon goes void at 8.15 a.m. and stays void all day long, so do whatever you feel like at the moment, okay? I would say not to make too many definite plans, because they could fall through, of course, but it's also a good time to just kind of relax and um, say, well, gee, what do I feel like? A movie or brunch? And make a decision and, and just do it right on the spur of the moment. Expect the unexpected, however, and maybe not to be totally satisfied with anything that you purchase. So watch your shopping on Saturday. On Saturday evening, the moon goes into Sagittarius, putting people into a late night Saturday night party mood if you're into that kind of thing. And then on Sunday, the moon stays in Sagittarius. People will be in a very agreeable mood, happy, waiting for next week, because next week will be a little more exciting. We'll have some more stuff going on, but hey, when we don't have an exciting week in astrology, it can be very good for just getting stuff done. So do it. It's also a great week to get your personal video reading from me, Judy Vitale, at readthestars.com. Go to my webpage and click on private video readings. You pay me $19.95. I send you a link to a video, five to seven minutes, me answering one or two of your questions based on your birth time and birth data. So um, go on and do that. It's really a worthwhile way to get a taste of what astrology can do for you. Uh, in addition to that, those of you here in the Pittsburgh area, I am going to be doing some very exciting things in the very near future, so keep an eye. ReadTheStars.com will be touting it as well, my Facebook page and Twitter and all that good stuff, so keep in touch, will ya? You want to say something personal? Judy, J-U-D-I, at ReadTheStars.com.